my name is, is Mark Featherston. Um, we're here in uh, South Africa in Cape Town, press launch for the new A class. I really looked at the way sand dunes are formed. On one side of a sand dune, you get very sort of sculpted, soft forms. On the other side, where the wind hits the top of the edge of the sand dune, you get sharper forms. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, uh, I support them um, because uh, they've got their reasons for making their decisions and more often than not, they're right. And um, I think very rarely do they make decisions where I think, I really wouldn't do that. And, and even if I do think I wouldn't do that, I keep fairly quiet and, and you know, they, they, they pay my wages, so I'm sort of happy to have a job. Um, but when I look at stuff like the Concept A-Class, which of course they also uh, had to look at and say, yes, we're going to make the car like that with the diamond grille and we're going to show it in, in Shanghai. Um, you know, the car gets such a good reaction that it just backs up that they knew what they were doing. And when we made the production car, they, as I said to you earlier, they sort of encouraged us to make something even more expressive, even more uh, kind of provocative and unexpected. Um, so, so, so this sort of you know older, more experienced group of gentlemen that normally you would assume would tone down your ideas actually encourage us to do something far more provocative than what, than what we thought was possible. So I don't have any. There's no. There's no watering down or looking at the car going. Oh, what a shame that we didn't make that or that. I'm thinking, wow, they, they were great, and uh, I think they made the right decision because it generates. Concept 8 has generated massive amounts of interest for the brand and for the new direction that we were going in. And the, and the A class, the production car, is the same. It's really the same. And uh, normally it's not quite that relationship. Normally when the production car comes out, people say, eh, yeah, well, it's not the same and yeah, it's a bit boring or what have you. But with the, with the A class, it's not like that. You see here, the cars parked in the street, people are walking by, taking pictures, people are stopping you. The sort of striking feature of the car is when you first see it, it clearly is nothing like its predecessor. It has a completely different character. Designers who I work with saw this. They've probably never talked to me again after being given such compliments from you. Um, because we're all in competition with each other and no one really wants to give you the biggest compliments. But um, it's nice to hear that and I think um, yeah, it's, you have to have your feet on the ground, yeah, because uh, you lose more than you win. And um, it's like anything, like any top sportsman, he's going to win at some point if he's really good and committed, but uh, ultimately you, you're going to lose, and uh, you have to handle that. And enjoy the moments where you're flavor of the month, or where you're getting your ideas picked. And when you're not winning, keep your head down and try again. And uh, I think it's just important to be very humble. Uh, it's, a, it's a cool job. I mean, we're here in South Africa, which is uh, a bit of a lifetime ambition for me uh, to be here and swim with sharks and do all the, all the cool rock and roll stuff. I get my inspiration from previous experiences and sort of dreams or images that I have in my mind. Seeing a Concorde, for example, I remember seeing that on a school trip, um, my first time I ever saw one. And I still remember that to this day. The pressures of the job are huge. And uh, the, the rewards are massive. You get to see your car driving on the road. But the pressures are, are massive. And it's very rare that um, artists put their heart and soul on the wall in comparison with other artists and then get a group of people to walk by and say, that's not good, that's great, that's not good, you're not good, you're okay. You know, that's, that's a hard mix of things to go through. And you present, you sell your ideas and someone says to you, it's not good what you've done. You think it is, but they say no. Whereas another guy, a lazy designer has been on the telephone and just done a couple of sketches, sticks his stuff up on the wall, the guy walks by and says, brilliant, we're gonna make it. God, how can we get this stuff picked? And I just work for four weeks constantly on one thing and my stuff's not chosen. So it's kind of, it's hard to handle, but you, you've got to keep your feet on the ground and you've got to keep trying and um, everybody gets, you know, if, they, if you're a good guy and you're, you're talented, you're committed, everyone gets their five minutes of fame at some point. And enjoy it when you've got it because it won't last forever. And um, yeah, uh, let the good times roll.